I got some post-workout thoughts that came to me while I was doing Zumba. I'm a bit sweaty, but you know, I was thinking procrastination and anxiety are the worst way to get ourselves to do stuff with ADHD. Now, don't get me wrong, they work. <laughs> like, because I don't know about you, but I've been using that most of my life because the adrenaline, the fight or flight response that gets turned on um, when we procrastinate, that actually motivates us and helps us push, right? And like, we come by this honestly. We all had to learn, like, how do I get myself to do stuff? Because no one was teaching us when we were young. So I get why we've learned to do this. And chronically being in our fight or flight response leads to a whole host of issues. Our secondary systems aren't working as well, like digestion, reproduction, endocrine, um, immune system. I knew I was missing a big one. And when those things don't function optimally over the course of our life, we can end up with like autoimmune illness, other illness, digestive issues, IBS, other kind of stuff like that. The list goes on, even trouble getting pregnant. And I'm not saying like it's our fault. We come by this honestly. We didn't know how else to get ourselves to do stuff. So we subconsciously on some level learn to procrastinate or get anxious and worried about things to get ourselves to do stuff. But the thing is, is long term that doesn't work. So we've got to learn other ways to help us. One way is to work on regulating our nervous system and then learning tools, you know, that really help us plan ahead. I was watching another TikToker talk about her marble jar. Every time she gets something done that she doesn't want to do that's kind of mundane or a step of something that's mundane you could do it with, she puts a actually a crystal in a jar. She moves it from one thing to the other and then when they fill up she's like, oh yay, look at me, look at me go. I was even thinking like, hmm, that might even be an excuse to get like, I don't know, five bucks towards your, you know, monthly impulsive spending limit or added or something like that. So anyway, I'm kind of babbling at this point because I'm a little tired and hot after working out, but I hope that helps. Uh, keep following because I share ideas for how to help with this. And if you haven't already, make sure you turn into my podcast where I dive deeper into this kind of stuff. I'll put the link in the comments. Take care.